Woods from the Trails Club. Uh, thank you all for coming out tonight. We're going to be talking about making trails in Huckenden, so being a good presenter, knowing how to run meetings. Let's see if this works on. Throw up the agenda first. I'm going to talk for a little bit, um, give you a little background on the Trails Club, and talk about some of the trails we have in town. Then we're going to have some breakouts. We've put together four different stations on different um, parts of aspects of trails in town to get you discussing, thinking about things that you might be interested in. When we're done with that, we're all gonna come back. Um, the people who are running the breakouts are gonna just give some summaries of what they heard, questions, comments, what people have raised. And then we're just gonna open up for a general discussion of whatever people wanna talk about. Let's see if this works. Oh, I'm supposed to be standing over here. There you go. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> I do a lot with HCAM, and Mike tells me what to do most of the time. So I'm going to start with a question. Who cares about trails? And the answer is, we do. You obviously do because you're here, but the town as a whole does. The town periodically runs surveys of residents' priorities for open space and recreation, and consistently, trails, bike trails and hiking trails, are at the top of the list. So this is going back to 2001, number one and two. I've seen one of these from... 1996, and pretty much the same uh, response is there. So there's interest in trails in town, and that's what, where is it gonna go? There we go. That's what got the Trails Club started. We had a resident here, um, let me show you her picture. She's on the right, Lisa Jackson, who had an interest, a specific interest in trails. She's a horseback rider, and she wanted to find trails um, to ride on, get some new trails. So she went to the town to say, who do I talk to about trails? And the town said, we don't really have a central trail person to talk to. So Lisa being Lisa went out and said, I'm gonna to put together a club of people that wanna talk about trails. <laughs> so she, along with Beth Rolfs and Matt Zedek, formed the Hopkinton Trails Club. In 2005, we had our first hike over College Rock. Um, this is the hot news picture of us. Most of the people in this picture are still involved in the, in, the, in the club and going out on our walks. We started having meetings. I keep pointing at that. And we put together a mission statement. So I'll just read the first line of it, which is the most important. We're a volunteer group of area residents dedicated to enjoying enhancing the, tra the existing trails in town while promoting the creation of new trails and improving trail connections throughout the community. That's what we're about, getting people out on the trails, showing people what trails we have, um, and getting advocating for new trails throughout the town. So how do we do that? One of our most important things is monthly walks. We've been together since 2005, so going on 12 years. Once a month, we've skipped a month here and there, but for the most part, we're out every month, you can do the math and figure out how many walks we've been on. We've had upwards of 40 people on walks. We've had, I led one walk where one other person showed up and we still went out and walked and it was a nice time. Um, it's a great way of achieving our mission because it gets people out on the trails, forms a connection. If you walk a trail and like it, you tend to say, I'd like to see this trail maintained. I'd like to see it improve. I'd like to see more of these trails. You form a connection with that trail. And hard to see with these little pictures, but we have all types. Um, we've got little kids in these, we bring families. They're always a fun time and it's enjoyable. Comment we always hear on these walks is people saying, I've seen this trail all these times. I drive by it, I've always wondered where it went. Um, or I never knew this trail was there. There's so many trails in town and people just don't know about them and these walks help us show them off. We do trail work and um, work with the scouts on projects. Most of our trail work projects are one-offs. Somebody contacts us and says, we have an issue. We have a bridge that needs rebuilding. Um, can you come out and help us? And we'll throw out a quick email blast, put together a crew, and go out for a half a day and work on them. We have some recurring projects that you can hear about over there with um, Lake Whitehall cleanup and the center trail. We do a cleanup there every spring. We also work with scouts. Um, we have a project list, again, you'll hear about that with Jeff and Gail, 
um, posted on our website, scouts are always looking for projects and they come to us and we guide them with things they can work on for those and we will lend manpower to them. So we have three scout projects on the bottom that we, we worked on. <coughs> Monthly meetings, we hold those at the Masonic Lodge. I think that's about our fifth home for meetings in the 12 years we've been together. Um, we're kind of a, a wandering circus sometimes. The, there's, it's not the entire membership of the club that shows up for these. We have a core group of about anywhere from six to a dozen people that will show up. And we'll talk about where we're going to go on our next walk. What's going on with trails in town? Do we need to go to a meeting? Do we need to write a letter? Um, do we need to come up with some form of action? Anybody's welcome to join any of these meetings. And by the way, by being here, you're all now members of the Trails Club. So, <laughs> you'll get your badges and uh, donations. <coughs> we do support and advocacy. Support, um, we collect, we go out and do the recycling center, collecting redeemables a couple of times a year, raise money, but we have no expenses, literally, um, for this club. We don't even pay for our website. So what do we do with that money? We donate it. We find organizations that support the same things as we, we do. So Friends of Whitehall, um, HALT, the Friends of Upton State Forest, and we'll make donations to them to help them keep their causes going. We also cross-promote events. Um, they'll let us know what they're doing. We share our events. We go to their stuff. They come to ours. It's a lot of fun. Um, advocacy, as I said, We'll keep track of what's going on in the town and maybe we'll attend a planning board meeting and raise our voices on some topic. We'll meet with developers, um, talk with them, help them figure out where they need to put trails, give them some guidance. And state agencies, on occasion we've written letters um, to us, the state, in support of something. Ah, got the right direction for once. We've got a web page which has a ton of good information on it. It's got obviously just announcements and news about our events that we're doing, but we also have links to those other organizations in the area, links to other towns, trail maps. Um, what else we got? We have maps of our own. We have rough maps of every trail, well, almost every trail in town. Um, we're working to improve them, but if you're wondering where the trails are, that's where you can find them. We're on social media. Yes, we're hip. We've got, we're on Facebook. We're up over 100 members. Last time I checked on our Facebook group, we have a Twitter account, which has, I believe, two followers, and they're both me. So <laughs> we're working on that. And finally, we've got our email list. This is probably our most important tool. Um, we're up close to 200 people. When I did this, it was 193. I've had a couple of subscribers since then. You can subscribe yourself on, it's right on the web page. This is the subscription form. All we ask for is your email address. Everything else is optional. Um, if you're on this, we aren't going to deluge you with emails. We send about one a month, maybe two, that say, hey, we're hiking this weekend. Come on and join us. So it's a handy tool for us. So where are all these trails, if we're a trails club? Here's a map of town. Um, each of those stars is a named trail system. There are a lot more trails than just those, and you'll see some of those over in that corner when we get to the breakouts. There are a ton of just informal little backyard trails, but these are the ones, all of these have names. And it's deceptive, because, let me show you one of them. So over here is Lake Whitehall, which is a state park. Most of the park is underwater, but it has trails all around it. There's a six mile trail around it, but over in here, there's a real nice little system. There's another one up in here. It's huge. Um, Hopkinton State Park is really, I consider it two trail systems. There's one massive one. I mean, most people just go to the beach, but there's a huge trail system back here, between here and the Sudbury River. And there's another trail system on the other side of the road that almost nobody ever goes to. Um, that is just gorgeous in there. So, you know, we've got um, Wasika over here, the Wasika Audubon Sanctuary, again, little known in town. Um, 
Upton State Forest, and then just tons of them out here. So they range in size. They, we have some, there's one that I know that's uh, just, a, just under 10 acres. And there's some that have about, the, the entire trail is about a quarter mile long. Then we have, um, well, let me show you a picture. Okay, there we go. Here's some trail maps. This is Cameron Woods and the um, Hopkinton Town Forest. This is 250 acres of land with trails. And I happen to live right next to it. I'm out there with my dog all the time. I can count on two hands the number of times I've seen people bumped into anybody out there. Um, it's a wonderful open space. Uh, let's see. This one in the middle is um, Whitehall Conservation Area trails and also the state park trails around the edge. That's a little bit, I think, I think that's about, I want to say 35 acres. And <coughs> the last one is Berry Acres, which is just down the road here, right across from Ice House Pond. Uh, that's a beautiful little trail system. The trail's going out the back side of it, the blue lines, go all the way over to the high school. And the, um, the running club and the cross country teams use that quite a lot. We just renovated that, um, a group from EMC uh, was looking for a community service project and came and helped us uh, get that back in shape. It was originally a Boy Scout project, so there's you know, two or three groups all working on this one area. So who manages these trails? Who owns them? Um, sort of interesting questions. Ownership is mostly the town or DCR. Um, I'm not sure, maybe you, someone can answer. Sudbury Valley Trustees, do they just control or do they own the land? Do you guys know? Does anyone? They, they own no, some. See, they I actually do own the land. Okay. They own the oh. conservation restrictions. Yeah, there's a different, I, I don't know the actual ownership. So, okay, so some of these, I have Hopkinton Area Land Trust up there on the upper left. Um, if you look at their property on the property maps, it says <coughs> it's owned by the town of Hopkinton, but they are in charge of the land. They own the conservation restriction. They're in charge of monitoring it, maintaining the trails, maintaining that property. So I have DCR, Tana Hopkinton. Um, the, the Hopkinton land is controlled by various agencies, parks and rec, open space. Um, Mass Audubon, like I mentioned, has the, their sanctuary over at Wasika. I put up NEMBA, um, New England Mountain Bike Association. They don't actually do any land directly in Hopkinton, but the trails from College Rock go down to their land. They actually run some of those, they clean up those trails some of those that are in Hopkinton, but um, they're unique, I'll just mention it, in the world. They are the only mountain bike association in the world that owns land with um, mountain bike trails. Everybody else, the associations are like the trails club. We just go out and play on the trails and advocate for them. But um, Nemba bought the land, it's called Vietnam, and it's down by mm. Milford. Um, they were approached to sell it when the casinos were coming through and they said, Nope, our, our uh, members did not give us the money to buy this land so we could sell it. Um, they hold, held fast on that was great. They're a great organization. So I'm going to come back to the open space and recreation um, plan again from 2013. These are two action items that were ranked as priorities in that last plan. Um, First one is blaze and mark trails, establish trailheads with parking areas and signage. Um, that was assigned to the Con Conservation Commission open space, and it was supposed to be done somewhere between 2013 and 2019. I assume 2019 is going to be the next survey. The second one was pursue link linkages, links between the state park and Upton State Forest, Upper Charles Trail. Again, open space Con commission, same time frame. Um, some funding sources. So I guess a question I'll pose as we go and look at some of this stuff is, are these still our priorities? How are we doing with these? It's been since 2013. Um, has some progress been made on these? And with that, we're going to go out to the breakouts. Um, 
again, we have four different groups here. We have the Upper Charles Trail here, um, and I'll, this is talking about the Hopkinton Upper Charles Trail, but there will be information about you know, the overall Upper Charles Trail project, five towns, 26 miles, something like that. Um, big multi-year, decade project that maybe some of us will live to see the completion. Um, over in that corner are making and connecting new trails, lots of information on where the trails in, are in town, um, and maybe where do we need new trails? What are our priorities for making connections? Back here are trail projects, some information on projects that are underway, projects we've done, um, maybe how you could get involved in some projects that are upcoming. And then the last one I've got are trail users and trail concerns, just a sort of a mishmash of things. So the thought is, go out, visit these areas. This is designed to spur some conversation, spur some thinking on your part of some stuff you want to talk, to, talk about, about trails. We'll do this for a little while, what is it, about 20 after now. Um, I was thinking, We'll set a timer, maybe every 10 minutes or so, we'll let everybody know, and that'll be your signal to either, if you want to just hang out where you are and continue your conversation, fine, but maybe that will be your signal to move to another one and learn something else. Um, once we've gone through all of those, we'll all come back, hear what people have said, and then just open it up for a general discussion. Alrighty? Onward.